So as a husband and wife as well, you know, in our home, we should try to look at our own selves first. You know, how good we are, uh, you know, and, and then subhanAllah, uh, put it that way. You know, then things will be easy for us. But if we th- think about the faults of others all the time, then <coughs> there is no one that, that's going to, uh, you know, uh, make us, what do you call, think about this. You know, we should be thinking about this. That, you know, if we think of and try to take the faults out of someone all the time, you know, then what's going to happen to us on the day of Qiyamah? You know, what if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us to shame, you know, makes us shameful for all of our and the, the, our deeds are hidden from people. You know, Allah doesn't. The, the good thing is that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala doesn't make it apparent. You know, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala keeps it hidden. I mean, that's the dua that we should always make. You know, so, so on the day of Qiyamah, we don't want uh, our faults to become apparent in front of the entire world. You know, that is going to be a shame. You know, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, uh, you know. Conceal, you know, hide our faults. That's the dua that we should always be making to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah give us the tawfiq, the ability. The next, another hadith that we went through is that he that relieved his brother from worldly distress. This is what we've been through. You know, uh, any any sort of distress that a person is going through, a person relieves him from that. Then in the hereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will relieve him, uh, inshallah ta'ala, and will, will send him into Jannah because of having mercy and kindness to the creation so that's very very important so the main subject the main topic here is being kind to someone you know being merciful to someone someone that is in trouble uh, distress is going through some sort of problem in his life because problems will come and this world is full of that because this world is not jannah and if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to make this world into jannah then he wouldn't have kept death because death is not going to happen in the hereafter. When a person leaves the world, he will die forever and ever. But not, no, sorry, he will not die forever and ever. But he will, he will be moved on to the next world. You know, he will move, be moved on to the next world. And there, the world is different. You know, the world is different compared to this world. So there are many phases that we're going through. You know, once we were in you know, the wombs of the mother. For nine months we were there, and then we moved on to the different world, which is this world. And before even uh, being in the womb of the world, mother, there was another world, which was Adam and Arwa, where all the souls were scattered around. And it is said, in Hadith to Anirah's meaning, that the person who seen uh, someone there, or basically, you know, spoken to someone there, when the souls were scattered, you know, then it is mentioned that that person will meet that person in this world as well and will become closer to him. So, yes, uh, that was Alam al-Arwah, wherein uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took an oath from us as well. 